Super Tuesday by taking you to the polls. Fernando's up early, out there early, getting ready to cast <laughs> his ballot. He wanted to be the first in line. That's right, he's got a front seat. He's at the Larry Cox Senior Center in Knox County with everything you need to know before you cast your ballot today. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Up early and out here early. Happy Super Tuesday, everyone. Now, if you're heading to the polls at any point during the day today, we do want to offer you a few reminders before you do that. First, make sure that you have your photo ID with you in hand. Here in Tennessee, this is important. You are required um, to have time off to vote. The thing is that you can't have more than three hours. In Knox County, there will be five new polling locations. They are listed on your screen right now. The polls will be open from 8 in the morning, so in less than two hours at this point, until 8 at night. But make sure that you are checking your assigned precinct because poll times vary across the region. You can find your voting location by searching your address on KGIS.org. Knox County leaders say they saw 8,000 fewer votes it cast this year during early voting when compared to the past election in 2020. And election officials say about 8% of early Republican ballots were actually spoiled because people voted for more candidates than they were allowed to. So that's what they're saying. It's very important that you take your time, read your ballot carefully. Aside from that, another problem they saw during early voting was people not bringing the right set of documents to the polls. A lot of folks with out-of-state driver's licenses are showing up, and a lot of people have moved here in the last two or three years and haven't gotten their driver's license changed, presumably. Uh, but that's not an acceptable ID for voting. It'd be a driver's license, a passport. And this is really neat. CAT is offering free bus rights to the polls today. Also, an important reminder, the election administrator says you could run into long lines at your precinct. So the recommendation here is try to go when it's not so busy, and that tends to be like mid-morning or later in the afternoon. Local leaders want to remind you you cannot wear any sort of clothing supporting any particular candidate. If you do that, they are going to ask you to cover up. And of course, we're going to be live throughout the day bringing you the latest updates on this Super Tuesday. But for now, I'll go ahead and send things back to you. All right, Fernando, thanks for the update. We appreciate it. Well, Super